connect your real iPhone with your MacBook or iMac with the help of a cable. So I'm going to connect my iPhone with my MacBook Pro. So once you connect it with the help of a cable, next thing that we have to do is you have to just click here on this iOS and you have to expand this and come here to the port file. So you have to open this iOS module in the Xcode. For that you will see this suggestion here that is open iOS module in Xcode. Just click on it. It is now opening the iOS module in Xcode. It will take a minute. So please wait for it. As you can see. So now when the Xcode is open, as you can see here, this is the Xcode. So next thing that we have to do is you will see this hammer sign. Okay, just click on this hammer sign and here you will see your phone name. For example, my iPhone is Muhammad Ali iPhone. Okay, in your case, you will see your iPhone. Let's say uh, Steve iPhone or let's say John iPhone or let's say if you if your iPhone do not have a name, let's say iPhone 13 Pro Max, iPhone 14 Pro Max, and so on, okay? Just like this. So when you connect your iPhone with the help of a cable with your Mac, then you will see your iPhone name here. For example, you can see Muhammad Ali iPhone. I have to just select this. Follow the same steps which I am showing to you guys, okay? This is how you can test your uh, iOS app on your real iPhones, okay? Click here on the hammer sign and from here you have to select your iPhone. For example, my iPhone is Muhammad Ali iPhone, which is iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I will simply select my iPhone as it is showing to me that is this is my iPhone, Muhammad Ali iPhone. Muhammad Ali is basically my iPhone name. That is by this name I have uh, my account in my Apple uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. So that's why it is showing me this Muhammad Ali iPhone. In your case, as I told you, it will show you your name. Let's say Steve iPhone, let's say John iPhone and so on. So you have to just select this and once you select this, okay, as it is selected, then click on display button. Now as if you are testing the uh, iOS application for the first time, on your real iPhone then you have to do some settings for example you have to go to your phone settings and go to the privacy and security and there you have to enable the developer mode so how we can do that I will show it to you please don't worry I'm going to show you my iPhone okay please follow me now so what you need to do is you need to simply go to the settings in your iPhone so I'm going to the settings and then inside the settings you will see this search. In the search you can simply search for this privacy and security. Okay, as you know inside the settings we have privacy and security. So let's search here for privacy and security which is this one. You can see privacy and security. Just click on it. When you click on it and when you scroll here then here at the bottom you will see this developer mode you have to just turn it on so just click on it and you have to turn it on just like this and then when developer mode is turned on your device security will be reduced reduce your device to turn on developer mode as you know we are developer we are developing iOS application so you have to click on restart that is we want it to be on so we turn on the developer mode so my iPhone is restarted successfully and now I'm going to install the app on my iPhone and now it will ask you to turn on developer mode developer mode allows you to use features that are required for app development when developer mode is turned on your device so you have to just uh, click on this turn on button so click on this turn on button and then you have to provide your password your iPhone password okay so now the developer mode is successfully turned on okay now we can develop iOS application and we can test it on your 
uh, on our real iPhone and of course you can test it on your real iPhone okay so please follow these steps okay which I have showed to you guys so now the next thing is see Muhammad Ali is already selected and now we are ready to test our application so all you need is just to click on this play button to install our iOS app on our real iPhone so it is now installing as you can see it is installing the app on our real iPhone so we have to wait for it here if it fails if the build is failed then in that case just click on this show errors okay this button and it will basically show you the error that is signing for runner requires a development team as I told you when you basically test your first iOS application for the first time on your iPhone then for that you have to make sure that you are signing to Xcode as a developer and that is simple you know here all you need is just to provide the team in the Xcode in your Xcode you will see this team so in the team if you click here you will see your name for example in my case my name is Muhammad Ali Zab, okay so I will select personal team as this MacBook belongs to me and I have already uh, I mean the account as this MacBook is connected in your case you also have your account if you click here you will see your name here for example John personal team or let's say if your name is Steve then it will be Steve personal team so you have to just select this personal team from here once you do this click on sign in and it will now pop up a dialog box for password so here you have to provide your password I'm going to provide my password in your case you have to provide your password click next so we are now good to go as you can see the error gone successfully that is now to the Xcode I am connected using my account so now let's just click on the play button in, in order to install the app on my iPhone in your case it will be installed to your iPhone so let's wait for it it will took some time Fully install in my iPhone in your case it will be installed in your iPhone as I told you if this is your first time of installing iOS application in your real iPhone then you have to follow some further steps for example if I click on this app which is just installed which is our app then it tell us your device management settings do not allow using the app from the developer which is basically from this account which is in my case my account okay so we have to basically allow you can allow using these apps in setting similarly Xcode also shows this we have to basically allow the permission so for that purpose all you need to do is you need to simply go to settings once again and from the settings you will see journal inside the general we have this uh, VPN and device management just click on it and here you will see this developer app not trusted so we have to trust this okay in your case you will here it will show your email in my case it's showing my email because this is my account and my iPhone so in your case it will be your account and your iPhone okay that is the email which is connected to your Xcode so you have to just click on it and next thing you need to do is just click on this trust apple development and this email so click on it and then click on trust so now uh, we are ready to basically uh, test any ios application which will be developed with the help of our this x code for example in your case using your x code and you can test each and every application on your real iPhone so I'm going back you can open the app from here as you know it is already installed in our iPhone or if you want to install it from the Xcode again then you have to just click OK and then click on this play button in order to install this app again on our iPhone and now you will see the result so let's wait for it
so the app is installed successfully in our iPhone as you can see that now let's just go to the upload new item screen and now in here click on this add new item and first of all let's choose any image from gallery so you know it asks for the permission this app require access require access for photo library usage so we will allow access to all photos now I'm going to choose any image for the testing purposes I choose this one so as you can see it is working fine on our real iPhone now I'm going back and this time I'm going to capture with the help of iPhone camera so I will choose this option which is capture image with camera so it asks for the permission that is this app require access to the camera so we have to click OK so my camera is open now as you can see and now let's take a picture with my iPhone let's say the seller is going to sell this upload this dustbin uh, image okay in order to sell it so we will capture image of it use photo so as you can see it is working totally fine the image is here now in the next video what we will do is that as you know that the main item in this image is this dustbin which the seller want to sell let's say so what we will do is we will make this image transparent that is we will remove the background from this image programmatically which we will do in the next video okay that is it will basically remove the background from this dustbin okay from this image and only the dustbin this dustbin will be visible so that is something that we will do in the next video that is to make the images transparent so see you guys in the next video